have to decorate something within an inch of its life or I'm not happy. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of resting areas for your eye. I kind of go straight gaudy with it and just decorate it top to bottom. for my work is always woodland. It's always things like seed pods, mushrooms, uh, decaying logs, regrowth, things you might find under a rock, things you might find growing under leaves or in a brush that you might skip over if you're not paying attention to where you're going. Just little things. Half my mugs are wheel thrown and then significantly altered after the fact. And then um, the other half of my pieces are just completely hand-built. I like to pinch the clay, put forms together to make mugs or vases um, or incense burners. I like that mark that is left where you can tell it's handmade. It's refined, but you can tell that it's not some manufactured store-bought thing. Anytime somebody says my work reminds them of like The Hobbit or Fern Gully or something like that, like my mission has been accomplished. There's so many variations that can affect what comes out when you open the kiln, so that has kept me interested. Um, it's kind of like a little Christmas surprise every time you look, because you don't know what you're going to get, no matter how many years you've been doing it. 